Images from NASA's newly operational James Webb Space Telescope are being processed by a citizen scientist with a background in art and graphic design. NASA and its partners have dedicated visual developers to this complex task of blending art and science, but there are also enthusiastic amateurs trying their hand at processing the publicly available data. Join us as we talk all about the citizen scientist, Judy Schmidt, who's helping the space agency make some of Webb's official images. First things first, who's Judy Schmidt and how'd she turn data into art? Art. Schmidt has been doing astronomical image processing using NASA data for years despite not having a formal astronomy education. She got her start a decade ago when she entered a contest to find Hubble's hidden treasures, creating images from unprocessed Hubble data, and came in third place. It was the start of a new hobby for Schmidt, who was even profiled on the NASA website in 2018. Schmidt said in a statement that this hobby of hers is just stuck with her and she can't stop. The citizen scientist has created a new album on her Flickr account dedicated to her work with the telescope's data since its launch, and two of those images have been adopted by NASA as it slowly begins to release more official web views. If you feel compelled to try it for yourself, she's also provided a very technical step-by-step -step guide to her process on Space.com. Next up, here's some of Schmidt's work. While working for NASA, Schmidt was in charge of processing a dramatic view of Jupiter based on infrared imagery depicted in deep indigo blues. The gas giant was a particularly difficult challenge because it's relatively close to the telescope, which means it rotates quickly, making it difficult to combine multiple observations into a single shot as features as the Great Red Spot moved. Schmidt also worked on a mysterious image of WR140, a binary pair of stars in the constellation Cygnus that NASA has yet to release. According to Science Alert, Webb discovered the series of strange concentric rings that appear to be caused by the two stars' intersecting orbits. The stars collide every eight years, causing a ring-like disruption in the dust clouds around them. Schmidt was also involved in bringing us a new view of the phantom galaxy, a spiral galaxy around 32 million light-years away from Earth in the constellation Pisces, taken by Webb. She wrote on Twitter that when she's in an ESA acknowledgement, it means they use the same or similar color mapping that she did or were inspired by her work in their own processing. The ESA has also combined the new infrared web image with a shot taken by Hubble. This provided more complete data in a combined view. Moving on, a little bit about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared astronomical space telescope. As the largest optical telescope in space, its high infrared resolution and sensitivity allow it to see objects that the Hubble Space Telescope isn't able to see because they're either too early, too distant, or faint. Mind-blowing in their beauty, the James Webb Telescope reveals glittering landscapes in astonishing detail. These striking images represent a historic moment for science and technology, astronomy and space exploration for America and all of humanity. Creating the stunning space art that we've come to expect from Webb and its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope takes a little more effort than simply taking a selfie with your phone. Each image is a translation of raw data from the telescope based on various observations, many of which are of light that a human eye cannot see. Webb's first images were unveiled on July 11th at a press conference led by U.S. President Joe Biden and on July 12th at an event at Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The telescope first launched on Christmas Day 2021, eventually traveling 1 million miles to its perch at L2, a Grange point where gravitational fields allow it to maintain a near stationary orbit. Webb's first cache of images sparked a media frenzy and inspired an official postage stamp from the United States Postal Service, which was announced earlier this month. Finally, a few of the views seen through the high powered lens of the James Webb Telescope. The Tarantula Nebula, or 30 Doradus, is 159,800 light years away, a stellar nursery where new stars are born amid gas clouds. Webb was able to capture star formation in unprecedented detail thanks to its near-infrared capabilities. The web was also able to get us a glimpse of Orion, another star-forming region. This one, 1,350 light-years away, is yet to be released by NASA because it was processed by an international collaboration that included researchers from Western University in Ontario. Western astrophysicist Els Peters said in a statement that they're blown away by the breathtaking images of the Orion Nebula. He added that they'd been waiting for more than five years since the start of this project in 2017 to get this data. Webb outdid itself with a dramatic view of the biggest planet in our solar system and its aurora, plus the distant galaxies behind. Derry Fouchette of the Paris Observatory, who co-led Webb's observations of the planet, explained in a statement that this one image sums up the science of our Jupiter system program, which studies the dynamics and chemistry of Jupiter itself, its satellite system, and its rings. There's also the dramatic
dramatic, wagon-wheel-like appearance of the Cartwheel Galaxy, which was captured by Webb, likely caused by an interstellar collision with a smaller galaxy that crashed through the center and moved on. Located about 500 million light-years away in the sculptor constellation, the Cartwheel Galaxy was presumably a normal spiral galaxy before its transformation. Hubble observations were obscured by gas clouds, which Webb's infrared sensing capabilities were able to penetrate, providing a clearer picture. Now, on to other news. First up, China is looking for new partners for lunar and deep space exploration. China is looking to form alliances for its upcoming moon missions and deep explorations of the solar system while leaving out its main partner Russia. During a session at the International Astronautical Congress IAC, in Paris on September 21st, Chinese space officials presented a variety of opportunities for international cooperation in the country's plans. Wang Qiong of the China National Space Administration's CNSA Lunar Exploration and Space Engineering Center stated that China was open to proposals for its Chang'e 7 Lunar South Pole Landing and Orbiting Mission, with a concurrent call announced by CNSA, and later Chang'e 8 in situ Resource Utilization Test Mission. According to Wang, Chang'e 6 already has participation from Sweden and ESA in the form of a negative ion detector, an Italian retroreflector, a French radon instrument, and a Pakistani CubeSat called iCubeQ. On board the mission, the UAE will also have a small rover weighing around 10 kilograms. Up next, Firefly's Alpha rocket reached orbit on the second launch. On October 1st, Firefly Aerospace's Alpha launch vehicle reached orbit on its second launch, more than a year after the vehicle's first launch failed. At 3.01 a.m. Eastern Time, the Alpha rocket lifted off from Space Launch Complex 2 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. The upper stage of the rocket entered orbit nearly eight minutes later. It deployed its payloads after a circularization burn, and Firefly declared 100% mission success, about one hour and 45 minutes after liftoff. On September 11th, Firefly attempted to launch Alpha nearly three weeks earlier. Controllers halted the countdown one minute before the scheduled launch at the start of a four-hour window. Firefly later stated that the abort was caused by a drop in the supply of helium used to pressurize tanks in the rocket's second stage, which ultimately resulted in the launch being scrubbed. Finally, a shiny, sparkly object has been seen in James Webb's space image. Astronomers made a stunning discovery in the first full-color image released from the new James Webb Super Space Telescope. The image, shown to the world in July by U.S. President Joe Biden, depicts a fantastically deep view of the cosmos billions of years ago. Researchers have discovered what they believe to be the most distant globular clusters, or dense star collections, ever discovered in that remarkable vista. What's more, these stars are generally quite old and relatively pure. They contain fewer of the heavier chemical elements that pollute more modern stars like our Sun. Our Milky Way galaxy, in which our Sun resides, contains more than 100 of these compact groupings, but when and how they form remains a mystery. The image, known as SMACS0723, is an example of what is known as a gravitational lens. It depicts a group of massive foreground galaxies that have magnified and bent light from background galaxies. One particularly lovely galaxy in the far distance has piqued the interest of astronomers at the University of Toronto. It's called the Sparkler Galaxy because it's surrounded by small yellow-red dots known as sparkles. These dots can only be observed by James Webb's extraordinary abilities. You couldn't see them with Hubble or any other great observatory. That's a wrap for this video. Which one of Judy Schmidt's artistic images stood out to you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.